pretty dark. Welcome to another day in the barn. Today I'm in Kevin's barn. Kevin's standing over there by the door. We're going to be bringing in his 1986 Six. Uh, Ford E350 Honey. E350 Ford E350 Honey motorhome that he picked up in Virginia. He's got some water damage from the bathroom. We'll pull off the left side panels and also we're going to remove the window out of there so we can replace some boards in there. Lighting's not too good here, but uh, I think because we got the garage door open. But he just got it running good, rebuilt the carburetor, and uh, sounding real good. So here he comes. It clears by about an inch to get into his pole barn. Perfect. So this is what we got going on in here. It was leaking by this vent. So we got to uh, rebuild that outside wall right there. The board has been completely rotted out and replace any uh, boards in there that uh, we can get to to make it sturdy again. Uh, like I said, it's a 1986. It's been around for a while. So we're going to fix that. And to fix that, we're going to pull off these top panels, the top three panels on the side of the RV from here up and that front window right there. We're also going to change the vents. Change the vents on top of it. So in order to get to these panels you got to take this weather stripping out that goes along the side and along the roof up there. You pull this rubber piece out here and behind it is the screws and you pop all those screws out and then the panels are stapled into the wood and then you take top one off, second one off, then the next one off and also when you put it back you need to replace all the put butyl tape underneath there to keep it from uh, leaking so that's what we're gonna do
We got the window out. <coughs> Kevin's scraping off all the butyl tape that was on there and putty and everything else that was on there. I'm taking off the drip edge from the top of the RV. I got to take off the roof rack on this side. Pull the screws out of the uh, the corner where it goes over the roof to the side. That's the drip edge on there and then we should be able to pull that first panel off of the top there well first things first i got tired of getting hit by the fan so i shut it off so what we had to do or what we're going to do in order to fix this right we were taking off this uh screws along the top here for the drip edge which go all the way down along there and then, as I got these screws out and I looked, I see that the drip edge goes in about an inch and a half and then has more screws in it. So, in order to do it right, we had to replace that vent there anyway that I just took out. I'm gonna replace that vent back there. Uh, Kevin wants to look at the air conditioner and he wants to replace the drain vents for the uh, toilet and shower and the sink so we're just going to take the entire roof off yeah so I got to take all the screws off the top of here on this side the top row of screws across that back there plus the rail that vent and that vent right there and we'll pull it out to get the air conditioner off the top and then the refrigerator furnace vent over there pull all those off and we'll have the top off we hope so after discussion with the pole barn owner Kevin and the RV owner Kevin we decided we're just going to try to pull the back vent off back there and that uh, shower vent and see if we can't lift this up high enough to get to these screws that are under here and then we'll clean all the seams on the top and reseal the entire roof after we get done even if we don't pull that seam apart over there it still needs to be resealed all right so this is what we got we got that top drip edge off and we took off three pieces four pieces of aluminum foil I mean, aluminum foil Took off the siding, four pieces of it, down to get to the bottom here. Uh, we got some spots that need to be replaced badly. If you look here by the window, that's bad. If you look here, that's bad. Here's where the bathroom was up here. That's hit pretty bad. That whole top board across there needs to be replaced. Uh, where the roof hook's on. Well, other than that, it looks pretty good. It'll be fun. Join us next time when we're in the barn. Oh, let's try it now that it's on record. <laughs> All right, so we got the bottom panels off now. You can see there's uh, quite a bit of water damage in here. This is below the window, uh, over top the wheel well. 
I think that's a pretty typical spot for these older uh, RVs and campers. And then back here where the shower was, the shower is, it's not too bad. The center parts aren't bad. And then up here at the top where the bathroom and the shower are. But uh, it's like right in the front part and mostly because that vent was leaking up there. Uh, the rest of it looks pretty good. So we'll replace these pieces and we'll button it back up and be good as new or better. Well, it's been a couple days. Mike's off working with the family and doing his personal stuff. And unfortunately, this monster hasn't fixed itself. So I'm going to get started on it. I'm going to show you a couple things we've got with it. And uh, hopefully you can sit back and laugh along as I look like an idiot. But we'll do what we can. Um, I'm Kevin. Uh, you've seen me in some other Mike's other videos helping with the tractors and some other things. I'm more of a mechanical guy than a construction guy. But uh, we'll see what happens. Well, as you can see, a lot of the stuff is just literally falls apart. It's not taking a whole lot to clean it up. Whether or not I can rebuild it's a different story. But we'll play with it, take it piece by piece. See what we got. I'm going to go ahead and start at the bottom and work my way towards the top. This is around the fender well. So we'll see what we get as it goes along. Well, I got the piece out. As you can see, right here is the floor of the RV. It does have some damage. I'm going to reinforce it underneath. It's way over against the wall, so it's not some place where you're going to be stepping. It's underneath the bench. So I'm going to leave it. There is a bunch of staples and screws I need to clean up before I can start putting pieces back in. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, they had another layer of plywood underneath the floor, so I'm going to have to build that, get that in place. But uh, hopefully we can get it cleaned up and uh, get it solid again. Well, I cut some boards and we've redone that bottom portion there. As you can see, I'm quite fond of wood glue and I'd rather just make sure that it's overly fastened than coming apart. I screwed it together. I re-screwed the uh, metal flange for the fender well back in place to the wood and secured it. So now we're going to move up and start heading towards the window. We'll see how it goes. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut out this section here. I'll stagger them down in just a minute. But of course, when you're doing something and you're not taking care of your crap, you have this wonderful thing here. Insert colorful metaphor, because that's what I want to say, but I'll have to take some time and pick things up. Well, I've been at it for about four hours now. As you can see, I got the window frame taken care of. Down at the bottom, I'm built around the fenders. Running on the water jacket for the water fresh water line. And then up to the top for the window. All right. I've used a combination of screws in conjunction with wood glue to hopefully give me the tightest bond and take care of any problems that may show up along the way. All right. Going to take a short break and then I'll move on to the fun stuff back by the bathroom which started this whole problem in the first place. Okay. Well, I think we basically have everything done now. As far as the framing goes, we've got the uh, mounts over top of the gas tank, so there's some place to bolt the gas tank valves to. Replace the framing in the wall, upper wall. It 
See if I can back up a little bit more here and give you a little better picture. As you can see, there was quite a bit that had to be replaced. Quite a bit that was done. We also did the inside. I got the sunroof taken care of, or sunroof, vent taken care of. So hopefully it'll be all right now. It involved replacing a couple of the rafters, tagging into them. Alright. Well, if you hung around this long, I appreciate it. Hopefully Mike will be back next time. And uh, we'll finish this up and get things wrapped up. Thanks for watching. Continue to watch Mike and he'll be in the barn.